Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it's already fall. It's September and so we're, today we're just gonna have a relaxing day. We're gonna go to the market, get some groceries that we need for the week. And I also wanted to make a fall dessert just to bring in this season. And so I wanted to make something with pumpkin. So I'm gonna be getting some ingredients for that as well. And uh, currently right now I'm just getting ready and I just kind of decided what to wear and I wanted to share that with everybody because I realized that with breastfeeding figuring out what to wear is such a it's such like a thoughtful task that um, that now I need to think about you know if the shirt is appropriate for breastfeeding if I can either pull it down or lift it up when I need to breastfeed so it's been definitely a journey but I did buy these nursing shirts and so these nursing shirts have been all right. Like they're not my favorite shirts just because when you wear them, I know if anybody else has been nursing out there, you definitely can tell this is a nursing shirt, first of all, um, but it does do the job. Like it has these holes on the side here where uh, there's like a pocket here that opens up when you need to nurse and everything. So these have been okay and I've been liking these they're all right. <laughs> but I also wanted to share some other clothes that I realize are great for nursing that I really like and I want to get more of. So I have the like, um, I have maybe two or three rompers. I have a nice black one that I showed in a previous video, video. And I realize that rompers are great right now because you can just pull off the top when you need to breastfeed or if you need to pump. And it just makes that area very, very accessible. And another flowy shirt that I really like these days is this shirt as well because this one you can just pull up so like the flowy shirts have been great um, or even camisoles that i really like uh, but right now this is what i currently chose and then also for my bottom some of the bottoms that i've been really liking especially with postpartum you just feel very loose i guess you could say in the skin especially in the tummy area so i really like these leggings from amazon and i got myself I think a total of three but they're basically like just black leggings that kind of they're very high-waisted they go all the way up past the belly button line which I really really like um, because it just makes me feel super secure um, but I'll link that down in the description box below as well if uh, you want to check these out because I really like these leggings bought them in both gray and green as well so I have a lot of pairs um, but I figure for now it's great for me for the extra support and it just makes me feel better i think about my body at this time so anyway just want to share it with you and yeah come spend the day with us okay here is the outfit in full view it's literally just my nursing clothes basically um but yeah these leggings are i like them a lot they're very comfortable and they go all the way up past the belly button so love how much support and these shirts, again, here's a nursing shirt, but again, you can definitely tell that this is a nursing shirt, which I don't really like, but it's okay. The material itself is very comfortable because it's very soft. Mom is making shoyu chicken, Jenny shoyu chicken. I have, and I'm gonna eat store pizza. Oh, more pizza? Why don't you sound excited to put the pizza? Was it not good? No, it's just, we had pizza last night. Well, you know, that's what leftovers are. That's the, the blessings of leftovers. I have, half, I have half of the hospital Caesar salad. I was going to make a pumpkin crunch. Oh, perfect. I was going to try to make that. I bought this. You can make this because um, it's called... Um, it says Insta House. Okay. So we're on the way to the market. We're going to Whole Foods. And for me, this is a treat because... We live pretty far from Whole Foods, so we don't come here very often. So when we do, it's a pretty exciting trip. And Ellie is here, she is sleeping. And last night, we all didn't get very much sleep. Honestly, I think I drank a little bit too much caffeine the day before. I, um, I generally am really good about, you know, only drinking a very little bit, but I think yesterday I just forgot how much I drank. And so um, she was up for a lot of the night, but she is sound asleep now. Um, ate again, had some really good poops. So yeah, I think it's just a learning process for myself to really be careful about what I put in my body, especially because I am breastfeeding and I just have to 
be aware of that, that everything that I eat goes to my baby. So, and it's been pretty rainy recently. Reed's just getting gas now, but it's been pretty rainy and um, here in, or just in general here in Hawaii. But yeah, just gonna get some groceries um, and we'll be on our way home after that. So we're back from Whole Foods and on the way home we stopped by at Bangkok Chef in Nuuanu for lunch and I got one of my all-time favorites that I like to get from there which is tofu summer rolls. So it's pretty uh, simple but yet it's a light lunch um, but I, I've always liked it and it comes with this like really delicious peanut sauce so I'm going to enjoy this now. And Reed who's changing Ellie's diaper right now, he just got pad to you which is probably a lot more exciting for many, most people than my dish but Reed's looks it's like a his is like a flat noodle dish and it comes with chicken and broccoli and mine looks like this oh she's sneezing so it just has um some of the white noodles and some tofu and lettuce carrots and basically and some mint so that's kind of what's in here but it's very delicious and I also got sparkling water from uh, Whole Foods which I also really like but after this I decided on making a pumpkin crunch which is like a Hawaii favorite here and I'm gonna go to my parents house for dinner tonight and so I'm gonna bring it there tonight and this is my first time making pumpkin crunch but I found a recipe from Foodland which is a supermarket here online and I really wanted to try it. It seems pretty simple which for me is that's like the way to go for my cooking abilities. So I'm gonna try it so stick with me and you can see how it turns out but it looks really delicious and it looks like a pretty simple recipe. Okay so we finished lunch and now I'm ready to make my pumpkin crunch and I'm excited about this recipe. One because it's simple and two because it's fall season and I'm excited for fall I love pumpkin recipes and so this is the first one of the season that I'm going to be making. So what we're going to do first is we're going to mix the pumpkin puree together with our sugar and our milk. And cinnamon. three eggs some salt so I'll put the recipe in the description box below if you guys want the full recipe but basically this is it I learned that you're not supposed to like mix it super intensely um, but gently mix because you don't want it to get super airy or your, your pumpkin your pumpkin custard will have a lot of air so I'm just gonna mix it gently and while I mix you know I wanted to kind of also update everybody on how we're doing as parents so parenthood for us is going great so far um, not to say that it's easy uh, sleep for us has been not very much, but you know, we definitely are enjoying having her for sure. For me, I do feel a little bit anxious about being a mom. I think just wanting to make sure that I'm doing everything correct, you know, but I, I know that people out there would say that there's not like one way to do things and don't be so hard on yourself. And I, I understand all that, but still I feel like there's a lot of pressure because there's this baby's life in my hands and you know, I don't want to mess it up in any way. So. I think that's the only pressure that I'm feeling right now, but other than that, you know, I'm really 
enjoying being home with her. So for the most part, I am home with her pretty much throughout the day. And then Reed goes to work um, and he comes home and he helps out with the bath. And uh, a lot of times during nighttime, we go on walks every night and it's just been a really fun journey so far. So we're enjoying it. I'm about two months postpartum, which means she's about two months old as well. And it's been a whirlwind. Can't believe she's already so big. I, I feel like she's gained about three pounds since she was born. And to me, that is a lot. And even like three inches longer. So she's definitely growing. Okay, so I feel like my pumpkin custard is good. I feel like it's done here. Looks good. It smells really good. This is ready. And I also prepared before this video, I prepared a greased pan. So all I did was get butter and I literally like greased the pan with a, some of a stick of butter. In the directions of the recipe, it says to put either parchment or wax paper on the bottom just so um, when you flip over the pumpkin crunch, then it won't stick to the pan. So I have some parchment paper here. I'm just gonna stick it on the top here. Oh, it's crooked. And I'm just gonna put it on the bottom. And then I'm going to pour in this mixture here, like this. Not too airy, I, I feel, but just right. Okay, so I have my pumpkin mixture here. And the next step it says, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yellow cake mix and literally you're just gonna sprinkle it on top. So I'm going to do that, sprinkle pretty much all of the cake mix. And they said to make sure you sprinkle it evenly. And this is just yellow cake mix that it, the recipe said to use. So I just bought some yellow cake mix from Whole Foods when we went today. It looks good to me, it looks pretty even. Now I'm going to melt the butter and then literally all we're gonna do is we're going to sprinkle the melted butter or put the melted butter on top all over our cake mix. All right, so my butter is now melted here. Just going to sprinkle it all over the top here. So comment below too if you are a pumpkin lover and you're excited about fall because there's a lot of pumpkin dishes and pumpkin spice lattes. I don't really drink that, but I know that that's a big thing for people during this time is the pumpkin spice drinks like at Starbucks and everything. And so I'm just excited because I enjoy Christmas time and I enjoy the holidays. And I know that once fall comes, then, you know, we are almost at that point where we're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving and Christmas and uh, if you know my channel, that's a big time for our family to get together and just spend so much time together. So looking forward to all of those holidays and family get togethers. So I know this is the start of all of it. Also too, this will be Ellie's first Christmas and first Thanksgiving and first Halloween. And so, you know, I know as new parents, Reed and I, even though at this point she doesn't understand anything, we're just excited to start seeing uh, the family get togethers and all these celebrations through her eyes because we know that that's so much fun to be a part of when you can see it through a child's eyes and just their excitement when they light up because of Christmas and all of the thing presents and just just the excitement that children have it's definitely something that I enjoy our last step is putting on the pecans and I'm guessing this is where it got the name pumpkin crunch because these are crunchy. So oven's ready. Oven you have to put at 350 and this is gonna bake for about an hour in the oven. So we're just going to sprinkle all of our pecans on top. And this is what's going to give it that crunchy name it's known for. So let me know too like what you're looking forward to this coming season and I think for many people, it's been a tough two years since the pandemic. And so I feel like now that we're coming out of the pandemic, people can enjoy family get togethers and just the things that they used to enjoy before the pandemic happened. So I know for our family, we definitely are looking forward to that as well. 
Okay, so tonight we decided to go to my parents' house for dinner. And you know, this is like a last minute thing. We just called my mom and let her know that we all wanted to come, so, which, we, which we do often. So that's why I'm going to, that's why I'm making this and that's where I'm gonna be bringing this after because I know that they also will be enjoying my pumpkin crunch. All right, so now we're gonna put this in the oven uh, for 55 minutes at 350 degrees. And literally, this took me about 15 minutes to put together, so super simple. Just took the pumpkin crunch out of the oven. It looks delicious, so I'm just gonna let it cool. And then we're gonna bring it to my parents' house like this and we will cut it there. Looks really good though. Okay, so it's been a while and um, we are gonna cut the crust, cut the sides. We waited till this cooled. Hopefully. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put this like this and then slip it. But like you just want this to be at the bottom. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then. I didn't want to. Ooh. Oh. Voila. Voila. And then we take off the top. Wait. Do you want me to take it off? You ready? Yep. Okay. Ready? Yes. Pumpkin crunch. And then this is just parchment paper. We take this off. Here it is, ta-da! So now we, now we can try it. Really, really good. I can taste the pumpkin and I can taste the pecans on the bottom. And that cake, the yellow cake mix, really makes for a nice crust. So, super simple. I'm gonna see how my family likes this. And um, yeah, we'll go around and see what everybody else thinks. Very good. How's the pumpkin crunch? Oh, it's wild. Uh, I like the whipped cream. Yeah. I hope I'm not. the tanner. Okay. Oh. It's no. carrying the tanner, I think it's. <laughs> what? Carrying the tanner. Did you try this? Oh, yeah. Is it good? Yeah. It's delicious. Describe it to me. I think the light pecan flavored, the, like a brittle, sugary. Crust. Okay. My thought wasn't finished, but you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got enough with that. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh. Mm, let's see how this is. I really hate pumpkin. Mm. Ooh. You no, know, it really does have a crunchy flavor. Mm. It's very sweet. It's yummy. Mm. Perfect for fall. Um, all of my students during COVID, whenever I would ask them what they were making for Thanksgiving, they said pumpkin crunch, and I had never heard of it before. So I guess that this, that's what this is. No wonder they keep making it. It's really good. And the whipped cream just really adds an extra touch. It's really nice. Let me try what my wife made. Have you, have you made it with her? No, I didn't make this with her. Thank you. No, I did not make this with her. She made this by herself today. But I like pumpkin pie, so I think I'm gonna like pumpkin crunch. Yeah! yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. The whipped cream is light and fluffy. Ready? The pumpkin is really good. Mm -hmm. And I like the, the Three, two, is it walnuts? One. I like the pecans. <laughs> the pecans and the crust. Make it really good. This is a fall dish. Check it out. Mm. You should get some. Grandpa Richard, how is the pumpkin? Oh, pumpkin? it's delicious. Wow, you need a, a cream on it and then a little um, 
what is that? Nuts on the bottom. It's perfect. You know the pumpkin? Nice and soft. Wow. It's oh no, oh no, oh no, good. Mm -hmm. okay. What did you just say? High praise for the pumpkin crunch. No, about the dessert yeah. thing? It'll be worth the diabetes that I get. Okay, that's how great it was. Describe it. How is it? It's very. Um, it's very like Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. -y. <laughs> Tastes like pumpkin pie, but nuttier and with whipped cream. Well, I guess yeah, it's good. Very good. Okay. It's delicious. It really is. It's very very good. Really good. Yeah. Perfect. Everything. All the flavors come together. And um, it's, yeah, it's really very good. There's and the, and the whipped cream on the top just makes everything taste really good together. I, I like it very much. Mm. How is it? And is it good? Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Yeah. Yum yum. <laughs> The pumpkin crunch turned out really well. The only thing is, if you look here, there's all these pecans, pecans, is it pecans or pecans? Pecans, there's all these nuts here. So I don't know how to keep them in the crust. But other than that, I think everything went well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you make this recipe super easy and it's great for fall, which is what we're in right now. So see you guys in the next one. Bye.